Hey, it's Daisy and I'm going to do another quick update on how I've been doing since uh, my last session with James Woodsworth doing the Thrive Program. Um, it is now the 4th of January and we have had Christmas and I was talking in my last video about how I was you know, looking forward to it but I was slightly apprehensive. Well, Christmas happened and it was okay and I found some things quite hard, like the food was difficult. But uh, I enjoyed myself, I joined him with everything, um, but I did find some things quite hard and I did try, well, I, I started to kind of berate myself and think, well, I'm not better enough, why is this still hard for me? But I've talked myself out of it, actually, and I've gone, well, Daisy, this is really good, you have never enjoyed yourself at Christmas, you never join in, you never do anything, and this year you have, so well done, stop focusing on where you need to go and look at how far you've come, like, you've done, you've done brilliantly. So that was pretty good. Um, in between Christmas and New Year's, I found it quite hard to get anything done because I was just not sure what I was doing. There didn't seem to be any plan and I didn't like not having any structure, but I got through that and I have done, I did a few things every day. Um, I did have a few days where I let myself slip and I completely forgot about processing my positives and I really noticed it within the first sort of couple of days of not doing it. So I, I um, I've got more stickers and as you can see I've been sticking them everywhere and I've got them all around my room and I've been making sure when I look at them I, even if it's just smile just have something positive because it's, it's really easy to stop doing it which is you know not good um, I actually have been trying kind of a new style of how I'm eating now and um, discussed it with my eating disorder nurse about kind of going off meal plan and just being intuitive and trying to eat sort of when I'm hungry and then if I don't feel like I need something at 10 o'clock not to have it and just try and balance it and be more normal. Um, it seems to be going okay at the moment, it's just a bit weird, it's kind of strange going off off a plan which I haven't done in years so it, it's exciting but a little bit scary. Um, right so <laughs> New Year's Eve I went out to a party, and whereas I went out last year, but um, I didn't drink. I went to bed at sort of like half past twelve. I slept in my friend's uh, boyfriend at the time's room on my own, and I like barricaded myself in with loads of headphones and didn't talk to anyone. And I was terrified about everyone throwing up, and I had a horrible time. But this year, I went to my friend's party, and it was so good. And I. I brought wine with me like as a gift and stuff and I drank and everyone around me was drinking and it was it was really nice um and then my friend had accidentally or whatever drunk too much and she got quite sick and actually before she threw up the first time I sort of I said to her I was like do do you need to should we make you sick because I think you might feel better I cannot believe that I suggested that ever and um you know, it did kind of freak me out a little bit when she started to kind of look like she was about to be sick. So I went downstairs and then I went and got her some water and I went and took it up to her. And I did sit kind of near her, like a bit out of the room. And she threw up whilst I was there. And it did make me like, I felt myself trying to make myself anxious. But at the time, I coped. And then I walked her home and we, you know, we walked her home and it was fine. And we went to bed. And then when we got back to her house, she had threw up again and I came out of the room that I was sleeping in and I was like, are you okay? Do you need anything? And I was like, I mean, you know, I did make myself quite anxious and I was finding it quite tricky, but it's fine. Went to sleep, whatever. Um, the next day, though, that was when I let myself get you know, out of control and I, it was annoying. But I uh, I was asking my parents for reassurance. I was doing everything I shouldn't have done. I was texting my friend constantly, being like, are you okay? What's going on? Is it a bug? Blah, 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 blah. And um, it took my brother basically saying, no, it's a hangover. Like, just forget about it for me to stop. And um, it was okay. I, and I also, what I found really helpful was something in the book that I read about being tired distorts your emotions and your thinking and I just kept going I've had like two hours sleep obviously I'm I'm not thinking straight so I I had this blip here and now it's the fourth and I'm you know back to completely back to normal and I'm 
still applying for jobs and I've been on the phone today which I normally would find really hard and I'd rehearse what I'm saying but today it was fine and this as well I, I've just got a couple of notes but I'm just sort of saying what I want and I'm babbling a bit but I'm feeling pretty good with myself today and I am you know I'm loving life even though I'm not doing that much at the moment I can see that a lot's going to come out of it and I'm still working on myself every single day I still get up and think what kind of day am I going to have today a great day I do all of that and I I'm n I don't think I'm ever going to stop because it's so helpful but um that's all I have to say at the moment I'll uh, probably make another video soon thank you